somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us Hi ladies, Happy New Year! We are starting 2022 with some decluttering and cleaning and organizing. So today on the agenda is just a little bit of everything. We are gonna start with this wrapping paper. I have like three boxes over here that I need to sort through. They have been sitting in my basement. They are in a giant box and every time I need to wrap a gift I have to basically look through it. So I bought some organizers. I know I have stuff in here I haven't used in a while so I'm gonna declutter that. Then we're gonna move on to the bathroom. I need to declutter a few drawers in there. And then I think we're gonna tackle the front closet. So I hope you're ready for some motivation and let's get into it. So my plan is to have two separate organizers, one for Christmas stuff and one for other things. Since Christmas is just something I pull out once a year and the other stuff something I can easily access, you know, any gift bags or wrapping paper. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on one of my videos. My name is Magda. I am a full-time working mom of two. And on my channel, you're going to see a lot of decluttering, organizing, cleaning, and basically anything to do with household management. So if that is something that you are interested in, make sure that you subscribe down below so we can stay connected. And like I said, we are starting off with decluttering all the gift bags and wrapping paper. I specifically waited until after Christmas to start on this project because I figured at that point I'm going to be less likely to say, well, I'm going to keep it because I might need it for, for Christmas. <laughs> so um, that's why I waited until after to kind of start working on this. And let me know in the comments if your horse is nicely organized because this is the first time I actually bought organizers to kind of try to bring some sort of order to all this stuff. I was really proud of myself for not having that much. <laughs> I remember I had a whole pack full of those. So. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. And if this is the first video you are watching, um, I am on a decluttering journey. I started a couple of months ago. There is a whole series on decluttering my basement that I have on my channel, so I'm gonna link it down below. This is almost part of it because I do store all this wrapping paper downstairs. And there are, I went through a lot of the areas of the basement and there is one section where it has a lot of boxes that have different types of items, if you will. So for example, this one had all the gift bags and gift wrap paper. And now it is time for me to kind of go through each one of them and sort through it to make sure that I am actually getting rid of clutter because like I have mentioned many of my previous videos before, my problem with the cluttering in the past has been that I have been organizing my mess instead of actually getting rid of stuff. So it's going to be funny as I am going through this process of decluttering the, you know, all the gift stuff, gift wrap paper, you know, gift bags that I could see the difference from, you know, kind of the old me and the new me, if you will. At some point when I was going towards the end, as you can see right now, I am taking out a lot of this, you know, tissue paper and I had a ton of it, which I didn't realize, obviously, because it was buried somewhere on the bottom. And 
I was running out of space to put it in. So I put two organizers, one for Christmas stuff and one for all the other types of occasions. And I got to a point where I did not have enough space for that. So the old me would have said, well, you bought an organizer that doesn't fit everything. You have to buy a second one, maybe something smaller, maybe put it in a box. I would immediately start thinking about the ways to organize what I have. And the new me decided, you know what, this is ridiculous. You do not need that much tissue paper, um, especially when 99% of the time you just use white. So I decided to that, that I'm going to do just leave the white um, and some white with like um, sparkles on it or however you call it just those and the rest is going away. So I can clearly see that kind of transformation. Um, and if for those of you who are interested, I am doing this the clutter like a mother method. So I'm gonna link the author's book below, but um, it was just so interesting to see how kind of this journey of decluttering is um, kind of going from this, you no, know, let me organize everything to let me actually get rid of stuff. So this is the part when I realized I have too much of the tissue paper and I had to decide what to do next. And I swear every time I go to a store to like a Dollar Tree, I grab one because I feel like I need it. Um, clearly, I had no idea what I actually had in my house. So this is what we are left with. The red bag or the red organizer is for the Christmas stuff and the one on the side is something for basically everything else. So that's going to go back into the basement, but now it's nicely organized and I can actually see what I have. And this is all the stuff that's being thrown away. That's quite a bit of it. Um, there were a lot of gift bags that I had for, I'm not even kidding, for probably like seven years that you know, I keep on putting it, well, maybe one day I will need it. And well, it's time to finally get rid of some. There was a lot of old wrapping paper that was already like coloring my hands. <laughs> so that's why it had to go, just a lot of things. And next we moved on to my bathroom. Um, I did not declutter the little medicine cabinet because I did it a while ago, but the one under the sink needed my attention. Clearly there was stuff already um, gathering up over there, just too much clutter for my liking and the drawers. One of them had my like hair stuff that I knew that there were two of them that I no longer used. And this one clearly was in the most need of attention. This is where my daughter puts her like hair things. And when I originally decluttered the bathroom, I'm going to link that video down below as well. I purposely left just a little container for her stuff so she could at the end of the week um, kind of carry that to her room, organize it, and then we're kind of starting fresh each week. Clearly that did not work out that way. So we're going to try that again. 
uh, we just have to just get in a better routine. But first, what we have to do is actually look through that box of her hair things and see what we want to keep and what we don't want to keep because she has way too much. Clearly, it's this is not even all of it. So she has the other half in her room. So I didn't get to that in this video. I just put it in a container and we're going to have to find some time on another day so I can do it with her so she can decide what she wants to keep and what she wants to throw away because I don't think she even realizes how much of those hair accessories she has. Told me more than once to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I all the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me So one of my biggest struggles in the bathroom is the fact that one, it's small, there is very limited amount of storage in there. And this is the main bathroom that we are using. We have two bathrooms in our house, but this is basically the main one. So there is a lot of things that are in here. So I had to go through it and kind of get rid of the things from the bathroom that, for example, we had some, you know, sunscreen or a lotion for sunburn and things like that, that simply didn't belong there during winter time in Chicago area. So I just had to kind of go through it and put things like that back in the basement and kind of switch it out when we go into summer. Um, I really was trying to be strategic about what I actually keep. Anything extra was going back to the basement for, um, you know, later down the road, like here, I am organizing my um, bath bombs I got for Christmas and some shower steamers. I think that's what they're called. So I was organizing them into those jars I got and clearly they don't fit all of it. And again, immediately I was thinking, well, maybe you should have gotten bigger jars. But at the same time, my bathroom is small. So I decided, you know what, we're going to stick with the smaller ones and we're going to put the rest of it in our, you know, storage in a basement. And then once I'm done with it, I'm just going to refill it. So that's the, the method I was going with. But there was just um, a lot of that kind of struggle internally, like what to do. Do I really need to keep everything in the bathroom? Because I don't want to clutter it, even though I want to store everything. I don't want to technically have everything in two places. At the same time, I prefer the more cleaner look. So I didn't want to clutter it with giant jars of things um, when, you know, the bathroom is small from to start with. Here I am organizing or decluttering truly all the uh, nail polishes. I started doing my own nail a while, nails a while ago and you know, they come in a kit. So there's a lot of colors and clearly I always keep all of them because you know, even though I don't like orange, for example, maybe one day I will be feeling like orange and then there it is. I have the nail polish for it. So I decided to make a step to that. I had those nail polishes for a while now and I know which ones I actually like and which ones I will never use. So I did declutter quite a bit of them and only kept the ones I truly am liking and I know I will use again. So let me know in the comments, do you have, you know, that struggle as well when you're trying to keep things just in case, even though you know that 99% of the time um, you're not going to use them, but you you know, just in case of the emergency when you need that orange nail polish that you never use, <laughs> that, that you want it. So let me know if you are like that. So I put my nail polish back into the box. Uh, all the stuff of, uh, on the left is either to throw away or to donate. Um, clearly nail polishes have to go. This is the box that I have to sort through. And the last thing we're going to tackle is this front closet, which funny thing, I was kind of hesitant, or not even hesitant, I was procrastinating with this because I was afraid this is going to take me forever because it's like packed with things. Out of the three things we were decluttering, 
in this video, um, this was the one that took the shortest amount of time. And clearly I didn't get to it the same day. This was the next day in the morning when I decided to finally tackle it. And it probably took just, I want to say between 30 and 45 five minutes. I don't even actually think it's closer to 30. So it was funny how sometimes, you know, you procrastinate because you want to clean something. And then when you start doing it, it doesn't take long at all. So that front closet is something we don't use often and I think that's why it's so, it was so easy to just shove things in there and close the door and it was so good to finally go through it. I was just shocked that by the end of it that front closet was basically like empty when it comes to like this lower level um, storage part of it. So um, there was just a lot of like different hats and old jackets and and things for my kids that they have out, outgrown um that you know i didn't even remember it's there and that's another problem area in my house aldi because we have so much hand-me-downs um that it, it kind of gets overwhelming at some point and at the same time because we live in a chicago area the weather is kind of varied from you know from hot to uh, the extreme cold to you know not so cold and kind of comfortable. So we have a lot of different types of outerwear and we need it because it's, it, it, you just never know what you're going to get and you really have to be dressed appropriately to go outside. So that is definitely a part I am still working on. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I want to dry up but too just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. And this is the end result. Um, there is obviously still some jackets that we use, but um, as you can see on the bottom, it's there is barely anything there. Um, just a little basket with you know bags that we use when we go places, and just some shoes. Majority of them are my husband's. Uh, I have gotten rid of a lot of things um, from there that were mine because I just no longer use it. So this is all the stuff that we are donating on the top of the island and on the bottom is just trash. Um, at first I thought I could get, and those clothes are basically, they belong somewhere else. I thought a lot of my shoes were something I could give away, but they were just so damaged on the bottom that I didn't notice before that I decided to throw it away. And the random shoe, I did find another, uh, the, the second one. <laughs> so I put it away in the closet. 
And that will be it for this video. I hope it gave you some motivation to declutter whatever you need to declutter in your house. And I hope to see you back here the next time. Thank you so much for watching.